Hey guys, this is Dr. Hub. Today we look at the mechanism of the action of corrosives. Actions of the corrosives. So first to begin with, we start with the strong acids. And what is the mechanism of action? So the strong acids, the mechanism would include there is a hydrogen ions and what it does it penetrates the tissue and leads to cell death and SCA formation so it results in cell death and SCA formation and this prevents further hydrogen ion penetration and protects against deeper injury so this prevents so what this does is it prevents the SCA formation what it does is it prevents the further hydrogen it prevents the hydrogen ion penetration penetration and protects against the deep injury and protects against the deep injury next is we look at the type of necrosis the type of necrosis here is nothing but the coagulation necrosis next we'll move on to the carbolic acid so what is the carbolic acid So looking at the carbolic acid, the carbolic acid is the same as other acids. So it is same as other acids. So it is similar to that of the other strong acids. And what it does, it also hardens the GI mucosa. So it hardens. So the hardens the GI mucosa. And it produces a leather bottle stomach. It produces leather bottle stomach. There is a leather bottle stomach. And it also anesthetizes the nerve endings. And it anesthetizes the nerve endings. So what this does is it allows for the gastric lavage. It allows to the gastric lavage. So what type of necrosis is this? The necrosis, it is nothing but the coagulation necrosis. So just to recap, the same of the, uh, the other strong acids, but it also hardens the GI mucosa and it produces leather bottle stomach and the anesthetizes the nerve endings. And it allows for the, this allows for gastric lavage. That is, what is the necrosis? It was the coagulative necrosis. Now we move on to the oxalic acid. So looking at oxalic acid, it is the same as other strong acids. So it is same as the strong acids, other strong acids. And uh, it also scavenges the calcium ions. It scavenges. Scavenges the calcium ions. And it leads to hypocalcemia. It leads to the hypocalcemia and also the calcium oxalate renal stones. Calcium oxalate renal stones. So, what is the type of necrosis here? It is the again the coagulative necrosis. Next is the hydrofluoric acid. So, hydrofluoric acid is a fluoride ion. So it is nothing but the fluoride ion. It scavenges the intracellular cations. It scavenges the intracellular cations. And such as there is calcium as well as magnesium. And it inhibits the NAK plus, Na plus K, KDPS. And what it does, it disturbs, it disturbs the cell membrane. So this ultimately what does it lead to so this ultimately it leads to the hypocalcemia it leads to the hypocalcemia and also the hypomagnesemia hypocalcemia as well as the hypomagnesemia so this is related to what necrosis the hydrofluoric 
Racine is related to the liquefactive necrosis. This liquefactive necrosis. Next, we look at the strong alkalis. So, in terms of strong alkalis, what is the mechanism of action? The mechanism of action here is that there is a hydroxide ions are easily penetrating the tissues. So the hydroxide ions they easily penetrate the tissue. And then what happens is there is dissolution of the cell membranes. So there is dissolution of the cell membrane. And it is associated with the deep tissue injury. So there is a deep tissue injury. So this leads to what type of necrosis? It is the liquefactive necrosis. The liquefactive necrosis. So this was all about the mechanism of the corrosives. To learn and grow daily, please do subscribe.